Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com, and in this tutorial we're going to be making a pricing page for a website that looks something like this, using some HTML, CSS, and the Bootstrap framework. So the majority of this is actually done using the uh, classes that Bootstrap provides for us, and what we're going to be doing, uh, as you can see, is creating a basically a three-column page here uh, that's going to have different pricing plans uh, per column. And it's just a nice way to kind of display, if you're selling something at a website, to display what the different plans are, what the different products are, uh, and how much they cost, things like that. Uh, you oftentimes see this on websites that are selling software as a service, where you can subscribe to different levels or different tiers uh, of that software or of that service. Uh, so let's take a look at the code and get started making this. So if we jump over here into Visual Studio Code, now what we have is an index.html file here and a styles.css file here. Uh, both of them are blank right now. Uh, and by the way, we're going to be using the Emmet plugin for Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's also available for other text editors like Atom as well. Uh, and what it does is basically allows you to uh, complete your code a little bit, uh, a little bit faster. It's like a enhanced autocomplete of sorts. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and get started with our HTML boilerplate. So we're just going to uh, type in an exclamation mark, hit tab, and Emmet's going to autocomplete this uh, HTML boilerplate for us. First thing we're going to do though is change our title. So we're just going to say pricing page. And then within our header section here, what we're going to want to do is include the bootstrap library as well as our custom styles.css file. So let's jump back over to Google Chrome. Let's go over to getbootstrap.com. Click on the get started button. Scroll down here to where it says quick start and CSS. Copy this CSS here. Jump back over to Visual Studio Code. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, paste this in here in the header section. And then what we're also going to do is go ahead and create uh, a link to our styles.css page uh, or file as well. So I'm going to say link rel equals style sheet and href equals styles.css. So now basically we have all we need, all the dependencies I guess you could say that we need to start creating our pricing page. So if we take a look at the website again in Chrome, we'll notice that the first thing we have on the page is a nav bar here that's styled using Bootstrap. So this is going to be the first thing we're going to add, and instead of having to type it out by hand, what we can do is just jump back over to the Bootstrap website, scroll down to where it says Components, and then again scroll down to where it says Nav Bar. And from here we can pick one of the options that they have already available for us. Uh, so feel free to choose the one that you like. I'm just going to pick a simple one here. Um, we can just choose this one here. We'll jump back over to Visual Studio Code. We'll jump into the body section here and we'll just paste this option in. Uh, so we might have to clean up a little bit of the indentation uh, a little bit from the copy and paste, but uh, that's pretty easy to do. We'll just uh, bump that over there. Um, and then these can be indented a little more. Uh, and we should have uh, our nav bar here. So the first thing we're going to want to do with the nav bar is go ahead and change the nav bar brand aspect of it, which is going to show up um, it's going to show up right here. We're just going to change it to say our website. So if we jump back over to Visual Studio Code, we'll just update this to say my website. And then we're going to go ahead and take care, uh, take out this active uh, class here that's used on one of the, one of the links here. Uh, and we're going to take out this span here as well. Uh, and we can go ahead and just delete this disabled link here. And we can just leave home features and pricing in there. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what it looks like on the website itself. So we're just going to have to uh, open that up. And what I did was put this in a folder on my desktop called pricing. Uh, so this is what our uh, web page looks like so far. We have a pretty basic nav bar and nothing else. So let's jump back on over to Visual Studio Code where we can actually start making the pricing section of the web page. And in order to do that, we're just going to first start off with a container div. And using Emmet, we can just type in dot container, and that's going to give us a div with the class of container. Uh, so let's just bump that over there. And within our container div, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a row. And so we're just going to say dot row, and that's going to give us a, di uh, a div that is uh, with the class of row. And within this row, what we're going to do is create three separate columns. And in Bootstrap, you can have uh, columns that are up to 12 units wide. Uh, so the page in the Bootstrap grid system is broken up into 12 different sections. And you can have a column take up all 12. You can have, up have it take up eight. You can, you can mix and match as you'd like. Uh, so in our case, we're just going to have three equal sized columns of four sections each. So in order to do that, we're just going to say call uh, dot call dash lg dash four and we're just going to hit tab and that's going to give us a div uh, with a class of call lg four 
And then what we're gonna do then is within this div, is we're going to go ahead and create a card in Bootstrap. And all you have to do for that is just say dot uh, card. And then within this card class, what we're gonna do is create a card header. And we're gonna do that by saying dot card dash header. And the card header is what we're gonna basically be putting in uh, the title of the card. So if we take a look at our example here, this section of the card is the card header. This, and this is the, um, the card body. So we're gonna have to create three separate card headers here. So jumping back over to Visual Studio Code, we can go ahead and put some text in our card header. Uh, and in this case, what we're gonna do is just say basic plan. And then what we're gonna do is create the card's body underneath this. So we're just gonna say dot card dash body. And really quickly to show you what the card body is, uh, it's basically anything underneath the, the title section here. So this white section here is what is considered the card body and everything else is gonna be within the card body. So let's jump back over to VS Code and within the card body, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in uh, our card's title text. And the title text is going to be just a header tag uh, with a bootstrap class applied to it that's gonna give us this, uh, this kind of font right here. So jumping back over, what we're gonna do is uh, return here and we're gonna go ahead and say uh, h5 class equals card dash title. And what we're gonna do for this uh, first title is we'll just say, I don't know, $5 per month. And underneath our card title, uh, and you guessed it, is the card's body text. So we're just gonna go ahead and say p class equals card text. And we're just gonna go ahead and put in some lorem ipsum. Uh, feel free to put in whatever you'd like. So in order to put in lorem ipsum using Emmet, we can just say lorem 10. We can put in 10 words of lorem and then hit our tab key. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what we have so far. And this is what we have so far. We have uh, our card, card heading, our card title, and some lorem ipsum. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add in our button. So jumping back over to our code here, we can jump underneath our paragraph and we can add in an uh, anchor tag. So we're just gonna say a href equals, uh, we're just gonna set it to link to nothing right now. And we're gonna give this, uh, this link a class of btn which means uh, stands for button. And we're gonna give it another class of btn dash primary, which is gonna give us uh, a nice blue color. And we're just gonna say subscribe for the text of the button. So if we save this and hop back over to Chrome, you'll notice that this is the card uh, that we have. So we're one third of the way there in, uh, in terms of cards. So let's just, let's just go ahead and copy this card uh, another, two times so that we have uh, our three cards. So if we jump back over to Visual Studio Code, we can go ahead and copy uh, this whole column here. So we're just gonna grab everything up to here and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it in twice. So uh, paste that in and jump down here and paste it in again. So if we save this and jump back over to uh, our web page here, you'll notice that now we have our three cards. We just gotta go ahead and edit them so that they are not all the same. So back over to our code and we can go ahead and for the second card here, let's just say something like uh, professional plan and we'll just pump this up to $10 a month. We can leave the rest of the stuff alone, the body text and the, uh, the button. And then for the third card, what we're gonna do is go ahead and say uh, enterprise plan and we'll say, um, you know, double the price on that one, make it $20 a month, and we'll save this and take a look again just to make sure that everything looks good, which it does. So now what we wanna do is actually move these three rows, uh, these three columns rather down and add in a title up at the top of the page here that says pricing. Uh, and then I'll just make things look a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add another row in our container here. And that's where we're gonna put our pricing text. So we're just gonna say uh, dot row. And within this row, we're gonna create three separate columns again, and we're gonna create them col-lg-4. So dot col-lg-4. And what we're gonna do is just hit tab, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, copy this over another two times. And within this first column here, what we're gonna do is create some text here. We're gonna create an h3 uh, tag here, and we're gonna say pricing. And we're just gonna go ahead and save this and take a look at what we have so far. 
And notice that our title is there, but it's a little tight uh, between the nav bar and our three columns here. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and add in some spacing. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is create uh, some custom CSS so that we can bump these down and bump uh, this down from uh, the nav bar as well. So jumping back over to VS Code, we're going to head over to Styles. And what we're going to do is create uh, a class called Header Row. So let's say header underscore row. And within this, we're just going to say margin top, just give it 20 pixels, and we're going to say margin bottom, and we'll give it 50 pixels of margin down at the bottom there. And let's just save this, and let's go ahead and apply it to our uh, row here. So we're going to say header underscore row. So now we, this, this div here has two classes. It has the first bootstrap row class, and then our custom header underscore row class. So when we go ahead and save this, we should now see that the spacing is a little bit better, uh, which it is. So we're almost done with our pricing page here, but if we take a look at the example page that we started with, you notice that there is some shadow around all three of the pricing cards. Uh, and actually, this is something that we can add easily with Bootstrap. And we can actually add varying degrees of shadow too, if we'd like. Uh, we can add small, uh, regular, and a large shadow around these cards. So let's jump back over to our own page here. And if we go into our code and go over to our first card here, what we're going to do is apply the shadow class to our card div. And we're just going to take a look at what these three different shadow classes look like. So the first is shadow-sm for shadow small. And if we save this, we can jump over here and take a look at what the small amount of shadow looks like. Uh, and you can barely see it, but it is there under the card. Uh, if you compare it to this card, you'll notice that there isn't any there. Uh, and then the next class that we can try is just shadow without anything after it. So if we save this and jump back over to our web page, you'll notice that we have some regular shadow here. Uh, and then if we jump back over to our um, code again, we can go ahead and add in a shadow-lg for a larger shadow that's going to uh, basically encapsulate this card here. Uh, and this just kind of makes it pop up off the screen, I think. So let's go ahead and add a large shadow to the other two cards here. Uh, and we're just going to go over here to our card div, add a space, and just shadow-lg. And the same thing for the uh, third uh, div as well. So shadow dash LG. We'll save that and we'll just refresh one more time. And you'll notice that we have a shadow on all three of our cards. It just kind of makes it look a little bit nicer in my opinion. So that's basically how you make a simple pricing page using Bootstrap. Uh, feel free to go in and play around with the spacing. Like maybe you want to move this button down or something like that. Or maybe you want to kind of elongate the cards. That's something that you can do as well. Uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to put them uh, in the comment section of this video below. And thank you for watching.